Hi there guys, let's have a look on the XOR switch, which is an electric component and a logic gate which will pass power through only if it is receiving power in the input A or only if it is receiving power in the input B, not both. You can find it in a regular crate or in underwater sunken chest. Once you get it, you can get the blueprint for 20 scrap and then you can craft it on a level 1 workbench using 5 high quality metal. Ok, so let's have a look on the XOR functionality in detail. I'm using generators as power sources, you can't get them in the game, I'm using them for simplicity. And I'm running the power from them through normal switch into the input panes of the XOR switch. If I turn on one of the switches, which means the power will be allowed through, you can see that the XOR switch will pass the power into the flashlight. I can do the same with the other side and it will still work. But if I turn on both of the switches, the XOR switch will no longer pass the power into the flashlight. That means in general the XOR switch will only pass the power if only one of the inputs are receiving power input. Ok, that's the basics. Keep watching, we will have a look on a more practical example in a moment. In the meantime, please give me thumbs up and subscribe if you want to receive more tips from me. As a practical use case example of the XOR switch, imagine you would have multiple power sources on your base and you would like to know that someone has destroyed one of them. As an example I've got uh, wind turbines here that are quite easily visible from outside and one doesn't need to be a hero to hit them with a rocket launcher. I'm wiring them into this circuit on both of the uh, connections from the wind turbines I've got a switch here which allows me to turn it off which basically simulates the situation one of them would be destroyed and then I've got branches that branch out uh, a bit of the power from the wind turbines into this XOR switch from both of the connections and then the rest of the power say would go into rest of your electric components. I've got just counters here that show me how much power are they giving besides what's branched out from the circuit already but you could have lights there or anything, your controllers and so a bit of the power is branched out into from, from both of the wind turbines is branched out into this XOR switch which Currently, at this point, is receiving power in both of its inputs, which means it will not be passing power through. But if one of the wind turbines get destroyed, say the right one, I will turn off the switch to simulate it's being destroyed. It will uh, remove the, the the power pass through this this, this switch. It means that the XOR switch will stop receiving power into the, one of the input pins, input B in this case, and that means it will pass power through from the other one into a splitter here, which splits the power into a certain light and an audio alarm. So that's a warning sign for me that one of the wind turbines, wind turbines has been destroyed and that perhaps I'm going to lose some of the power. If I had more than one power source, say three or more wind turbines, what I can do is wire the XOR switches together. So in, in this simple circuit, I'm, instead of having multiple wind turbines, I'm using a generator which splits the power into uh, five, five outputs, because one, one, the, first, the first splitter is splitting the power into two outputs that I'm using and the third output is used to wire into the other splitter which is further uh, splitting the power into three more power outputs. So say I would have four wind turbines or four solar panels, they would be coming, the power from them would be coming from basically this pin, this pin, this pin and this one and the three of them I'm wiring directly into the two XOR, XOR switches and I've got the, the fourth one is wired through a regular switch for demonstration if, if the power source was destroyed. So I'll turn the switch off to, to demonstrate the situation and you can see that the, the power is wired through into a third XOR switch which will then pass the power from from the other power source 
further into the flashlight and that means I will be warned that one of the power sources is has been destroyed. Okay guys, XOR switch is a bit brain twisting sometimes but I hope you find this video useful. Thumbs up, subscribe, see you in the next video, bye bye.